the future and they are definitely in line to do things but they're not thinking vertical and there's a lot of ga aircraft that need to make the jump over to electric and we're going to talk about some of those things uh via another thing that we discovered so but if you guys, uh, we're going to just stay here for a minute and, and just kind of go over what happened on Tuesday's show. So on Tuesday's sure, show, yeah. right, uh, we went through and we were basically talking about the fact that there was a lot of information coming from Jet Up Terra recently. And one of the one of the big things that we were discussing was uh, the mm-hmm. fact that they have opened up funding. OK, and yep. they have. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they have a big we fund, you know, page. And also a couple of other things. I follow the the, the co-founder, CEO uh, for Jet of Terra. I follow him on LinkedIn. So the first thing is that I really want to bring up is okay. we had spoke. We'll go there first. Yeah, we're going to go there first. So yep. we we had spoken a couple of weeks ago about Jet of Terra going in and getting these contracts with the Air Force and the Army for doing their yep. studies on noise. And basically, this is what Andre d- dropped on on the old LinkedIn today. He said. Here was from him, four technologies, same thrust. I'm, I'm assuming he's saying they're all producing the same amount of thrust. One anechoic chamber, 25 microphones. Test results are in. Updates coming soon. What do you prefer to hear in your neighborhood? Props, rotors, fans, or just the wind? And <laughs> uh, so, and that was phenomenal because one of those advantages that we've talked about so much here on the show is that that's something that they share to no other company right now that I know of, Right. So that's where we talk a lot about them being uh, probably a market leader in what's going to happen in the EV and and air taxi future, right? So Mm -hmm. there's that. And then he's also been dropping other stuff on his Twitter and and other places. So also what's been up there, and and here's here's something more interesting on that, is this is the the WeFund page, and we actually were, were quite enamored to find out that if you went into the actual page itself and you went into the update section and you scroll on down... Uh, we were we were featured on the page. This actual show was featured on the page, which was fantastic. You know, we're happy with that. That's amazing. Yeah, I uh, oh, couldn't yeah. be happier than that. Okay, with with any 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 part of that, and then also on top of that is Popular Mechanics actually has done an article on them, and basically they dropped into the conversation about the FPS, the fluidic propulsion system, and how the bladeless air taxi has its wild propulsion system. And this was by Carolyn Dilbert. Uh, and she did a great job of explaining basically where we're at <clears throat> with Jet of Terra. And the reason why we're going back into this is because the J2000 has real specs. Okay, real world specs. And when Corey and I talk aircraft and the types of aircraft we've flown, we started out in small helicopters. We've flown Cessnas and bigger aircraft from there. And a lot of people just don't understand what it takes to actually move something through the air. So I want to start the general conversation about just getting 2,000 pounds of anything to move through the air is a challenge. That's, yeah. So the Cessna 172 hasn't changed its design philosophy in well over almost 70 years. It, it's almost the same aircraft through and through. Okay, That's why they almost consider it a classic, right? So when I mentioned, if I was to say to you that there's an aircraft capable of moving 850 pounds, 200 nautical miles or 200 miles what would be your first thought well you're talking about 850 pounds of payload right yeah so well that's yeah okay. mike's referring to yeah the the, the payload of the day 2000 yeah and yeah i mean so just kind of going with the specs he's saying yeah this aircraft is quoted to move to take off it doesn't say you know we're gonna work pilots so we're looking we look for things for like max takeoff weight gross takeoff you know all these kinds of specific terms but we we can see that they list 2000 pounds Max weight. Yep. 200 miles per hour speed, airspeed. I would I would guess the max cruise speed or max max speed. Mm-hmm. Uh, when in a range of 200 miles, and and but then as as Mike alluded to there, it mentions up to 850 or 450 to 850 pounds of payload. Correct. That's pretty awesome. That is I amazing. Mean, that is pretty awesome. And I uh, so kind of just. Go with a few things here. I mean, uh, if you're new to the subject of Jet Up Terra, one of the things, and we mentioned already noise already, uh, you know, on this channel, we've talked about EVs uh, or electric, electric, let's ca- let's go air taxis mm-hmm. or bigger, bigger aircraft like that, that are coming up into the market. And one of the things, one of the hurdles is uh, noise, right? So we mentioned again, back before, one of the reasons, you know, helicopters have been around for a long time. One of the reasons they're, and they're really good at moving things, you know, vertically, just short distances. They're really good utility. Right. One of the reasons you don't see them 
in, in that in that like space in cities and towns like downtown all the time. They're noisy as hell. If you haven't been near one, they're noisy. A bell for There's a seven. lot of moving parts. It's wow. Um, you know, people don't generally want a large or medium, let's say a smaller or medium lift helicopter, you know, in the you know, across the street from them because no. they're loud, they're noisy. They're they generate a lot of um uh, downwash and, and things and and they just don't want that. So one of the things, as we mentioned, was noise. And uh, just some quick facts there. Jadaptera initially is saying that their their um, their aircraft is going to be about 30 decibels quieter than something else that would lift comparable amounts of weight at that power output category, right? Which is phenomenal. And so, yeah. Oh, yeah. 30 decibels is great. And that, you know, to say something like that, that would be that that much less noisy at a cruise altitude of, and again, we're talking air taxis here. Maybe it's cruising at... 2,000 feet. Yep. It's going to be basically, you're not going to notice it. Uh, I mean, it's it's going to be pretty sweet. So And yeah, going go along with that, 200 miles, that's a great inter, in, inter and intra-city transportation because it's VTOL, so you can go, you know, just take off like a helicopter, but then go quite quickly if you need to, and then land vertically again. Um, currently, their power plant they're using is uh, petrol. You know, it's it's not electric yet. They they basically say uh, battery capacity would need about 600% more density of energy storage to meet the same milestones they want out of what they can get with, uh, you know, a petrol-powered um, power plant. So, so wait, here's one other uh, thing, you know, though. Well, yeah, so here's, yeah. here's one thing, though. 30% weight savings. And here's what people don't understand, right? 30% <clears throat> weight savings over a comparable-powered aircraft. And this is what I mean by comparable-powered, oh, yeah, right? about fuel savings? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. not only that, but he's yeah. saying the weight savings. They're saying that the weight savings is going to be 30% over something else in, in the comparable area, right? That's what this article right. said. Jet Up Terror says it can be up to 30% lighter than a comparable aircraft. That's where it's quoted in this yes. article, right? Yep. So yep. the thing, and 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 what I'm what I'm getting at is here, and then a savings of fuel of up to fifty percent. So so yeah, because you don't have to carry the extra weight. Correct. So yeah. All right. So oh, here's yeah. so here's something, and when they feature this in their video, they feature it flying into Manhattan and landing on top of a building, which sure. they canceled sure. out landing on tops of buildings in Manhattan in like 1970, but that's like 1977 when there was a 206 at the top of one of the buildings and nearly crashed. But anyhow, here's the deal. <clears throat> okay, the deal is when you look at these numbers and you break it down. A Bell 407 is 43 feet long. It has a rotor diameter of, I think it's 16, okay, but almost 32 on, you know, in total. Okay, so, yep, the, yep, so yep. the thing is, and it makes a ton of noise. Now, a Bell 407 yeah. flies yes. comfortably in a headwind, about 114 knots, 120 knots, right in that range. It's, it's fairly comfortable, but usually settles back in about 109, right? Mm-hmm. So it's going to take that same aircraft two hours to go 200 miles. If the J-2000 holds up to its actual proposed 200 mile an hour speed, and it can cover a 200 mile distance. Okay, now let's just put that into perspective. That means, what, New York to Boston in an hour. Yeah, in your own yeah, personal yeah, aircraft. We don't know what kind of fuel reserves we're talking here. Right. But yeah, if you just, if you don't worry about knots, and you don't worry about converting it. Yeah, if we're talking 200 miles per hour. Yeah. And you go 200 miles yes. on a full tank, let's call it. You're in range to do a lot. You're in, you, you're going, again, quick math, people, right? That's an hour. That's about an hour to go that distance. That's awesome. I mean, wow, okay. So that means you could go from the east coast of Florida <clears throat> to the west coast of Florida, round trip, okay? It's only 100 nautical miles across the mid part, say, flying directly over Orlando. <laughs> you could do that in a half hour. <laughs> Right. So that's that's something that you could look forward to. If you wanted to go New York to Boston, you're looking at about 175 nautical miles. Okay? Just and that's with an additional range to go to the backside of Jersey. Just say if you wanted to go to the total backside, if you wanted to go and I'm just doing my numbers on the fly right now just to see what I could get out of these 148 to go from downtown Manhattan to the middle of Boston. All right. And you can do that in roughly from their terms is going to be roughly 45 minutes. This is this is the actual market that you need to be in for executive transport and the speeds. And then the altitude of 15,000 feet guarantees you that if there's at least some weather, you can do some, some dodging around weather. You're not going to get over thunderstorms, that's for certain. But on yeah, most right. calm, clear yeah. days, and with this, the certification for, for carrying oxygen, which 14,000 feet would be required, um, mm-hmm. 
you'll probably be able to do that. Now, the only other issue that I would have to see what they'd have to, you know, overcome would be icing. Because they would be operating yeah, well, in prime yeah. icing areas. That would be about it. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, uh, talking about, I mean, we could go on a whole bunch of stuff here. But to say, to say, right, if, if, you, wanted, if you need to climb up a decent height, that's going to take away some of your range because you got to use the fuel to, to go up that high. I, I know you can, in a way, use less fuel on the way back down. Sure, sure of course. But all, that's lead, all that leads to kind of be seen with this fluidic propulsion system because we haven't really seen this kind of thing in this application before. It's, so it's, it's exciting. Crazy. Though, it's really cool. It's, yeah. I can tell you that in the airlines, you, you compute the fact that you will take longer to get up but faster to get down, and, and that's all that's, yeah, easy, that's what, that's easy about, peasy. Yeah. But once you're getting to 15,000 feet, I imagine at 200 miles, okay, at that cruise speed, you're probably going to get climb rates even at above 8,000 feet, 9,000 feet, probably still over 1,200 feet per minute probably in that range. So you're probably talking six, seven minutes to get to a comfortable cruising altitude of about eight or 9,000, which on most days will do you just fine. This thing is the one to watch. I, I, now that I've seen more specs and now that I see that it's getting closer um, and actually getting a little bit more information on it from that article and actually seeing percentages that I can weigh in on it. it I'm more excited than I was the day before. <laughs> mm-hmm. But the mm-hmm. thing is, it is time to invest in Jet of Terra. OK, it really is. Uh, I, if, if it was going to be a buy situation for these people and, and the way that it's looking, the way that they're even positioning themselves right now by sharing the schematics on their website and they're showing it looks like at this point, uh, Andre actually shared another picture on here in the updates just above the video that they posted about us. Um, it looks like they're showing some of the aerodynamic, uh, I guess it would be. I didn't look at the patent. Oh, this is his patent. May 11th. Oh, this is a new, uh, I think this is a new post. This is a new post. This is a new patent from May 11th. So that's yeah. it. This is, this is getting to be a point where you go ball game, right? You, you say they're, they've done the work. So uh, I'm ex- I would buy one. I wonder how much they're going to cost. That would be the last thing I need to know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, you and I talked about that real briefly before we started the stream. Right. Because... Again, you know, there's still a lot to see, right? Of course. Sure. But the performance figures and and honestly comparing these to we have to when we talk about speed, right? We have to compare these to small jets, of course. Sure. Right? They're so they're right if in the it middle. Comes, yeah, if it if it's a decent price and you know, aviation a decent price is still expensive, but if it's a if it's less than small jets man it, it should make a killing honestly i it mean should. we're not even talking i'm not talking air taxis even i'm talking just you know vip even ga the people that can afford it i mean this is gonna be super cool I, I mean look if you have a short commute 60 nautical miles from your backyard to the office you're 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 in the capable range now of taking this thing back and forth you know to work literally this is the flying car this has the opportunity and it's the numbers. It's the range yeah. that they went for. It's specifically baked <laughs> into the numbers that they didn't go too big or too small. And look, a Cessna goes like 110 knots. It takes yeah. The J2000 yeah. is a two seater. It's yeah, a yeah, two seater, yeah, yeah. but 200 yeah. miles per hour is fast. I mean, it is. That is, is quick. That is a quick piece of machinery. Anyhow, folks, we we are enamored that these guys have have put us up there. Uh, but the other part of it is, is more material comes out. This article that actually just came out. From uh, from it was popular mechanics was only just about a week and a half ago, so mm-hmm. and we have to digest things. So it was May third, so about two yeah, weeks yeah, ago. Two weeks, two weeks and change. Two yeah. weeks and change, and we digest what we can and 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 get our heads wrapped around all the other stuff. But again, only because they're looking for funding, and the reality of it is, is that it they deserve it. It looks like they've got a winner on their hands. I think they're going about it the right way, and I'd buy one tomorrow. So mm-hmm. there's that. Yep. Last thing I'll say probably about this uh, also to keep in mind is, you know, try to read between the lines. And what I'm going at there is when, you know, we keep track of Jet Up Terra over the over the time we kept track of them. But one thing we I keep in mind when I'm thinking about it is the military's already been doing things with this company already <laughs> in relation to sound. And that's not a huge surprise. Right. right. They want to keep their small aircraft quiet. Fine. This, you know, they've had not one, but a few of these these tests with the U.S. military and, and <laughs> have gone well for what we can tell. So, you know, the U.S. military has some cash. So there might be some backing going on. We might not have the whole story. And of that's course fine. not. That's Jet Up Terra's business. Of course not. But what I'm getting at is that's a good sign. That's uh, a great you know, sign. There's other players out there, right? I think um, 
not Volocopter, but uh, was it Jobby or some one of the other ones has mm-hmm. some things going on with the U.S. military testing. So we know the U.S. military has got some things going on. We've mentioned before. Um, I think it's is it Project Agility? Oh, no, Agility Prime. Yeah, Agility so Prime. We know the U.S. military has got the pro the <laughs> project called Agility Prime, where they're trying to jumpstart this this segment of the aviation industry. So we know they're they're testing the waters everywhere, but. Point being, I think that not just us has recognized and taken notice here. So yeah, my 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 sci-fi dreams just I, I I'm showing the picture that that Andre posted and it's so funny because I'm filling in this ring with just hot exhaust and and imagining it attached to something and and how tripped out people would be when they first see this and go that's not an actual jet engine it's actually just the 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 exhaust part and people are gonna have to wrap their heads around how that thing works yeah it's yeah, gonna be it's crazy just hot exhaust from yeah, yeah that's gonna be great yeah anyhow folks like subscribe follow we appreciate every bit of everything that we've been talking about this company because like I said we like to keep on top of it. It, we we take our time to digest what's going on in the marketplace, but we, obviously, you know, if they're going to pay attention to us, we're going to pay a little bit more attention to them, and that's the way the world works. So, yeah, bar none. 